Hey guys, coin checklists have always been a very popular way of keeping track of the coins you own. And uh, using Coin Manage, you can easily generate coin checklists. Now, the great thing about Coin Manage is you can, when you generate a coin checklist, the coins you already have are already marked. So, Coin Manage is going to go and find the coins you have and mark them as, as being owned. So, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to create a coin checklist. I've got a collection here of some five uh, United States five cent coins. And what I can do is on any type, like let's say the Liberty Nickels here, I can right mouse click and we've got a we've got three different checklist uh, options. First here is um, a checklist report basically with one uh, one variety in each line. So I'll go ahead and generate that. Now you can uh, either print it out or preview it. I'm just going to preview. Uh, for the sake of this demo. So I'll click on preview, start, and as you can see here, I've got my um, Liberty Nickels and the ones I own are already marked as, uh, already checked as because they're owned. So, And uh, here it's going to give you a quantity of how many of each one you do own. Uh, as you can see, it's one variety per line. And we've got a second report, which is um, checklist report two columns, which is a bit more compact. And this time I'll output it to Adobe PDF. Click Start, and I can give it a name. Liberty Nichols, save. And it's gonna open up the Adobe PDF file. And as you can see here, we got two, two it's more compact. We've got two, um, two columns. So uh, let's say for example, I want to I don't I don't have to just select the type I can select the entire denomination so let's say I'm going to output a checklist of all the United States five cent coins no matter what uh, type they are I can right mouse click on five cents click on checklist report let me go ahead and, and show you the third option which is which is checklist with grades grades owned click preview start what this does is the same thing but Whenever for each coin that is owned, it's right below there on the line below there. It's going to show you the grade that's owned. So I've got one 1867 shield nickel, very good eight condition, and I'll go down further. I've got a, a 1913D um, Buffalo nickel and MS60, and another one, 13S and MS60. Um, now I could also do a checklist on an entire country. I don't know if you want to do that. It's uh, the checklist is going to be very very large probably a few hundred pages so anyways hopefully that was helpful thank you very much take care and goodbye